David Pogue here. I've got a special treat for you today. I'm going to come up here to my office and give you a little tour. Show you around the place. Show you where I work. So what do you think? It's cool, isn't it? I like that setup right there. That's where I do all my, uh, my videos. And right here, that's my music setup. You like it? Oh, what's that? A little frustrating? Because you can't look around? Yeah, that's the trouble with traditional camcorders and cameras trying to represent a place. But today I'm going to have a look at a technology that makes things a little bit better. Have a look. For thousands of years, man has explored his surroundings and described them with whatever technology he had. Text. Audio. There seems to be no difficulty in moving around if... Photographs. Yesterday, a new technology for representing a place became available. It's called Photosynth, and it comes from a little startup company I'll tell you about in a minute. You begin by taking photos, a lot of photos. You want as many overlapping sections as possible. You can walk around, change your zoom, change your angle. Now you go to photosynth.net and install a little software plugin into your web browser. It automatically compares all those photos, figures out how they go together, and uploads them to the web. The result? A 3D virtual representation of your place. You can also snap photos all around something, and Photosynth turns it into a virtual object that you can walk around. Even if you don't want to create your own Photosynth, there are lots of ones posted there already. The technology is especially useful for museums and galleries. Now you can get even closer to the exhibits than you'd be able to do if you were there. Someday, the company hopes to connect all these different photosynths into one seamless, glorious, digital photographic representation of the real world we live in. And who is this ambitious company? It's a little startup outfit we like to call Microsoft. Actually, it's a 15-person team within Microsoft Research, which is sort of this project exploratory arm that's not expected to make any money. I'll be honest with you, creating a good photosynth takes patience and practice. You're supposed to make sure that every spot in the room is included in at least three photos. Otherwise, you wind up with gaps in the 3D world. And Photosynth has some room to grow. For example, they're still working on a Macintosh version of the software, and also you can't yet create private Photosynths. Every one you create is available to the entire world on the web. And Photosynths aren't as smooth or as amazing as QuickTime VR, which has been around for years. Then again, Photosynth doesn't require a special tripod or special software, and it doesn't leave you rooted to a single spot. Meanwhile, Photosynth is a lot of fun, and if it catches on, it could be an interesting new medium. Finally, it's just great to see something so fresh and creative coming out of Microsoft, or at least a little piece of it.